thought things could only get better. Then hell froze over. They're calling this the New Ice Age. Been 20 years. The 80s seemed to lurch from high to high. We injected every designer drug known to man. On a trip to be the best possible you. Playing tag with the hand of God. We scavenge what was once our home to get by. Take our chances with what was once human. All for the sake of our survival. The world was ours once. I say we get it back. So what's the plan? If we can get this weapon, what we're doing here could change things forever. There's no straight shot to the vault. I'm gonna head inside, find a way out. Got it. I'm with you every step of the way. You're gonna need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. It's unloaded now. Combine channel's really picking up. They know you're coming. You need to get out of here now. Oh god. They've got dad. They're gonna find out what he knows, and then they're gonna kill him. All this is my fault. I never told you. I couldn't, I'm so sorry, baby. You will not save him. Alex Bams alone cannot prevent his fate. Close your eyes, honey! Sir, our travel time to Shanghai is 11 hours, 15 minutes. Told you we should have taken the faster flight. I think the board prefers you wear a more conventional suit to these company meetings. You can't outrun your past. Friday, tell me I didn't just imagine that. Negative, sir. Sir, incoming! A little late, don't you think? Friday, suit up, now! Systems online. Time for the hero thing. Sir, hostiles inbound, 10 o'clock. So much for a hero's welcome. On your right. Any idea who we're up against? You've made your share of enemies, sir. I'll need more time. Above you. That's how it's done. Threat neutralized. Good. I have a plan. With Medal of Honor above and beyond, I think we're finally able to, to fully realize that vision from 20 years ago of putting you in the boots, allow you to see through the eyes of someone who was actually there. And that's been the most exciting and fulfilling part of, of the project. There's no moment in this game where like you're just relaxed, right? You're in a war zone. You are a member of the OSS, the Office of Strategic Services. That allows us to tell a story where the player gets to go to all these incredible places. VR adds such another level to it just because people want to naturally interact with things how they do in the real world. Whether you're inside a Sherman tank or at an airfield or sneaking into a Nazi sub-base, the level of immersion is unprecedented. Through the power of VR, you're climbing a wall, you're pulling out your gun, you're catching a grenade in midair and throwing it back. Those are all things that you end up doing yourself. It's exciting and it's terrifying and it's fun and it's cool kind of helping create these experiences for people. We are making a game about the reality of World War II. So for us, you know, the authenticity was everything. When you put that headset on, you feel like you're back in World War II era Europe. It's a very surreal experience to be there without being there. 
You're not watching history on a flat screen. You're experiencing history with your own eyes. Kestis. So Guerrero. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. A Jedi.
claim it. There is no price I wouldn't pay to protect my home. Welcome. This is Horizon. Think of me as your guide slash self-appointed spokes avatar here to show you around. You know, Horizon is filled with possibilities. You can play stuff, make stuff, fly stuff. Whoa! Really love the stash, Stuart. What up, Stuart? Wait, I want a mustache. Horizon isn't about rules, or limits, or pants, or people telling you not to fly an airplane while drinking your fresh ground, fair trade, French press morning coffee through a curly straw. Isn't that right, Debbie? Mm-hmm. It's about getting out there and trying new things. Making your mark. Making friends with an Australian named Mark. Oh, actually, I'm from New Zealand. And you can even build a world of your own, like laser tag moon landing. Or this islandy place with these cutie put. Time. Memories. It's all blurred together now. War. Peace. I was a spy in 1939 and a soldier in 1944. My duty was to fight the Nazis, but my obsession was to solve a mystery. Before I completely lost my mind, or oh. The magnitude, the labor of generations that have come before you, and what shortly lies ahead. could have meant to you, passed on the knowledge that was passed to me, but now I'm dead. I'm gonna get you patched up. I promise. Not to jinx it, but I think we're actually making progress here. Oh, damn it! I don't know if I can do this, Jack. Your systems are failing. I barely managed to keep your core memory alive. Are you injured? What the hell is this? Jack. Please.
Fantastic places for you to play. One of the key things in Sniper Elite is the authenticity of the weapons. There are loads of the classic World War II weaponry that you'd expect to see in Sniper Elite coming back for the game. There's submachine guns and pistols and sneaky stuff like the well rod and that kind of thing. And of course there's the fantastic long range shooting with the sniper rifle. We fully support the PlayStation Aim controller and the Move controllers as well, and obviously the DualShock, and each of them brings a different kind of uh, experience to the game. With the Move controllers, you get to use both your hands independently. With the Aim controller, you get a really cool feel of actually holding a rifle. For the first time, you can kind of lean over edges, lean around corners. When you bring that scope up to your eye with the VR controllers and the scope really comes up to your eyes, it's really amazing. It blows you away. You really get this sense of, of holding the gun and the sense of weight and power that comes with that is really impressive in VR. Fire.